What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. If you are new here, my name's Cameron and to give you a quick rundown, I travel around the United States in a travel trailer with my wife JC and my camper cat Leo. Right now it is the middle of March, ice just went out in central Iowa and we're at Scott Street Bridge today. If you're from central Iowa, you know that it is the most popular place. Should I say popular? It's the most populated place as far as fishing. There's always tons of people here, and that is because there's always tons of walleyes here and every other fish in the river, but we're going after walleyes today. There's a few people here I can see, so I don't really want to fish in the crowds. I'm going to start up close to the dam, and I'm going to work my way down the river. See if we can't run into something. Walleye's number one on the hit list. I wouldn't mind a wiper. Honestly, I wouldn't mind catching anything. Let's get after them. Let's go catch something. All right. Get the backpack tackle box. One of my favorite purchases. And I'm not gonna bring my ultralight today. Because this time of year, there are some hogs swimming around. And I'd hate to hook up to a big walleye on a four pound test. All right. There's the most popular spot. Two people are already here. Mm. Should I start up here? Fishing that break right there is always really good. But, hmm. Should I go up there? Might as well. I'm gonna make a couple casts up here and then we're just gonna work our way down. Like I said, I don't wanna fish around a bunch of people today. Sometimes when it's absolutely crazy, crazy and the walleyes are going nuts, it's fun to fish next to people because you're catching fish other people are catching fish it's always fun to see a bunch of walleyes come out but today that is not the plan the plan is to move around see if we can't find a couple this is probably going to be short-lived because this water is moving let's see if we can't try and get down down and I got snagged immediately and broke off immediately first cast break off and only go up from here well there's three people on this side now so I'm bouncing down <laughs> there's a dude on the bridge that just pulled a walleye the guys that I was just walking by said that's his fourth one in a half an hour and there's one, two, three, four, five, six people up there, and they said it's just the same dude. So he's on to something. From what I can tell, they were all jigging. So this is all moving way too fast. So I'm just gonna come down here and just try and find some little breaks. Down this, on this side, there's not any like big eddies. There's a couple real small ones, they're pretty skinny. They only go mm, at best 10 foot offshore, less than that, single digits. But they're worth making casts. We just need to find a little bit of back slack water. Like right here, you can kind of see, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but right there it shoots off but the problem is that slack water i mean it's just right here so it's a foot deep and you can see it all so not quite what we're looking for 
Okay, like this. This is good. I'm gonna flip out here. So that's fast water. I'm gonna stand out here. Whoa. A little ways. You don't need much water. I mean, you can catch walleyes in a couple feet of water. For sure. Right up against the bank. If you don't believe me, go check out... I don't know. I've got a couple videos of catching walleyes out of the river. Just right on the rocks. Right on the edge. We're hoping for a big mama. It's that time of year. Yeah, ideally, there would have been no people below that <laughs> dam, which, again, this is no secret where I'm at, obviously. There's plenty of people here right now. Everyone knows about it. Everyone's mom knows about it. Everyone's dogs knows about it. There are walleyes here. But, we can come down here and find a couple, I bet. They're not only right up below the dam. That's not the only spot they're at. Come on. Let's pop one off early. Get us feeling good about today. Cloudy. Warm enough that we don't need gloves. Not too warm though. It's like 40s. Just looking for slower water near the edge and some depth. This looks like some depth. Is it slower water? Not crazy slow, but slower. I know usually I fish with my rod tip up, but when the current's going down like that, oh, I don't know. There's I just try and keep my line tight and holding it lower seems to help, but some people are probably watching thinking, what's this dude doing? Oh, nothing, just, just walleye fishing, you know. Just fishing for walleyes, maybe this will work. Fishing for walleyes, Low Scott Street. <laughs> Come on. This will really attract people. You know, if you do this, people know that you know what you're doing. And people will fish right next to you because they know that you're on the walleyes. Can you imagine if I caught a fish like this? <laughs> That'd be insane. We've made it a ways down here, but none of these spots are big enough spots to really hammer. They're just like little seams. Hopefully we run into a little bit deeper water here soon. I'd rather, I'd take more slack water. It doesn't have to be deeper. A couple of feet's fine, but I just want it to be a bigger backwater eddy, whatever you want to call them. What happens if I go a little bit deeper? Let me guess, I get snagged. I get a fish. I get a fish. No way. Walleye. What happens if I go a little bit deeper? I catch a walleye. That's what happens. Oh, man. Yeah, baby. Yes. Oh, that yeah, baby was super cringy. Don't care. Holy crap. Yes. Okay, so that was just a little bit further offshore in that faster water. First cast, too. No way. Let's see if I can not drop you. I should keep this. It's perfect. 
by, I bet that's right on 15 inches. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna keep them though. Should I keep them? No. I'm not keeping them today. Yes, okay. That's what I'm talking about. That was a further cast out in that current. Hey, that works. You gotta be kidding me. That's what I'm talking about. What time is it? Six o'clock on the dot. We got an hour, like an hour and a half before sunset, hour 20 minutes. That was right out there. Rod tip raised up. You gotta be kidding. Okay. Well, that changes things a little bit. Just because that was like the first time I did that. He thumped it too. God, I love that. There's an eagle. Bald eagle. Why don't you come down? Oh, I thought I just got hit again. It's probably a rock. I was pretty close to the shore. Why don't you come down and snatch yourself a walleye, Mr. Eagle? Not a big one. I want to catch one. Come grab yourself a 15-incher for the lunch, for dinner. If you don't know what I'm talking about, he's right there. Got him. Beautiful. Yes. All right. See, that wasn't that far out. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. We saw him. <laughs> that's another walleye. That was like right in there. So not that far out. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's two. We can do this. We can catch a handful. Come on. That was, I casted further out. I'm going to continue to do that. That was rod tip up, cast further out, popping. So that was a 642 that I caught that one just now. The other one was dead on six o'clock. So I've got 40 minutes until sunset. So, we'll see. There's two guys walking down here now. We'll ask them if they've seen anything caught up there, because it is freaking packed. Everyone's fishing that one spot. I w should I go heavier? I wonder if just going heavier would be better. One eighth though, I mean, goodness. It's heavy enough. Hmm. I'll let that one chill too long. Yeah, that's not gonna come out. If I break off, I might. And I definitely just broke off. All right, I'm gonna go heavier for I think, yep. I'm just gonna try it. I'll probably get snagged right away, but we're just gonna go heavy just to try and keep it out there a little longer. All right. So we're going bigger jig head. It's freaking old. It's been in there for a long time, but it should be just fine. It's not rusted. Yeah, let's just see. I mean, that's not too big, I don't think. 
Let's just see if that doesn't get down. A little easier. Come on. Come on, walleye. You're out here. Got him. Got him. Yes. Okay. We're catching walleyes now. That was on a quarter. Same spot too. Yes. All right. All right. Quarter ounce jig. That seems heavy, but he choked it. Another Come on. I don't know. Probably dead on 15 again. Love it. All right. So that's two landed. Three on. We still got some daylight left, boys and girls. We still got some daylight left. Wow, wow, wow. Why is no one up here? Oh, wow. Almost just crushed my face. Did I break my rod? I almost just crushed my face. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> like my face was so close to that rock. Oh man, that hurt my wrists too. I am lucky. I am lucky, lucky, lucky. All right guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. That was quite the tumble that just happened. I got really lucky I didn't crush my face. But, Scott Street Bridge success, three walleyes. If you like fishing in crowds, Scott Street is the place for you. If you don't like fishing in crowds, move down river. There's walleyes all through here, so. I don't usually post exactly where I'm at just because, I don't know, I don't like to. People don't like when you do, but Scott Street Bridge is definitely an exception. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. See you next time.